Today's a special day. Today we're going to celebrate. Joseph, put that first slide up there, please. Hallelujah. 25 years. What a blessing to stand before you today. Beth Yeshua is a synagogue that was founded on the belief in Psalm 127 that unless Adonai builds the house, the builders labor in vain. We take no credit for what's going on here. We say, thank you, Lord. And we look forward to what you have in store for us. We're celebrating our 25th anniversary and it's truly a milestone worth celebrating. Over the past two and a half decades, this congregation has grown and thrived and is becoming a place of worship, fellowship, and community for lots of folks. Through the ups and downs, the challenges and the triumphs, God has been faithful in guiding and sustaining Beth Yeshua and we are so very grateful. Let me share with you how it all started and give you a quick history lesson. That'll be my message today. In 1997, Beth Hillel, later to be renamed Beth Yeshua, started as a home fellowship and Bible study. In short order, the Bible study was such a success that we formed the congregation. I was teaching Jewish roots at South Florida Bible College where I received my Doctor of Ministry degree and I was the Dean of the School of Jewish Studies. And Dr. Joseph Guadadino, the pastor who founded the Bible College was my mentor. One day he called me into his office and he asked if I would become the academic dean of the college. But needless to say, I was flabbergasted and I was honored. But the Lord had been speaking to me to start a Messianic Jewish congregation. And at the same time, two friends, David Pollinger and Dr. David Bernstein, encouraged me by confirming this call to start a new congregation. And they both would become founding fathers and elders in the congregation. And I shared this calling with Dr. Joe and he graciously offered the cafeteria at South Florida Bible College as our first home. We would meet on Tuesday night for praise and Bible study and Friday night for services. Stephen Solomon's mother, Vicki, was our lead vocalist. That's how far back Stephen goes, right to the very beginning. Our first service was Kol Nidre on Sunday, September 19th, 1999. And I wanna show you the ad, if you could hit slide two, Joseph, and the personal invitation that went out. Look at that. Preaching Yeshua, Jesus, as the Messiah foretold in the Tanakh. We packed the sanctuary for that service. And we distributed those personal invitations and to say that Bobby and I were a little scared would be an understatement. But we made it through with flying colors. My wife, Bobby, was an evangelist, a seer, and a counselor to many. And she wrote, produced, and of course starred in many plays and skits, <laughs> which were very well received. And Beth Hillel grew. And after a five-year battle with cancer, the Lord took Bobby from us. I was devastated. I felt that life was over for me. And I asked the Lord to either bring me a maid of his choosing or to take me home. And he brought me Jackie.
She came to a Bible study and asked to pray for my hand. Daphne DaCosta was there. She knows. She heard all of this. And as she touched me, I heard the Lord say, I brought her to you in answer to your prayer. She is to be your wife. After knowing her for all of five hours, we were married. Now, I'm not suggesting you go out and do that. Don't say to me later, the rabbi did it so I can do it. He said, she is to be your wife. You see, God is so good to me. And you all see the love that we have for each other. She's my best friend, my confidant, my co-laborer for the kingdom, a mighty woman of God. She keeps me straight, and that in itself is a full-time job, trust me. She's had a 50-year-long ministry to hurting and abused women, and it's still going strong. In the early years, my Aunt Esther, the next slide if you would, Joe. I loved my Aunt Esther. I led her and my uncle out to the Lord many, many years ago. But she was in charge of the tambourines and the shakers that we used during praise and worship. And she loved Yeshua. She was a neighbor of Sheila and Charlie. But there was one problem with her assignment. Midway through praise and worship, she would start collecting the instruments. And when I asked her why, she said, well, I wanted to make sure I got all of them. That's my responsibility. My Aunt Esther was a trick, let me tell you. But boy, she loved the Lord and she loved us. And I miss her. Throughout the history of the synagogue, there have been countless moments where we've seen the hand of God at work. From the humble beginnings at the cafeteria at South Florida Bible College, we moved to the chapel at New Covenant Church. The pastor at the time was a former praise and worship leader for a very well-known Derek Prince. From there, we moved to Crystal Lake, slide six, Joe, where we rented the former Metro Church building. And it was a beautiful facility that we allowed a Brazilian congregation to share with us. But Hurricane Wilma destroyed the building. And we moved to a golf clubhouse in, in Pompano Beach that had been closed in hopes of building condos on the site. And after a couple of years, the fire marshal closed the building and we wound up meeting in a private home for a time. From there, we met at Shalom Adonai, a Brazilian congregation in Coral Springs. From there, we moved to another Brazilian congregation, this time in Margate. And it was a rather small facility. And evidently their congregation was shrinking as we were growing. So they moved to a smaller facility. And I began the search for some place. And my prayer at the time was, Lord, it's about time the wandering Jews had a home. <laughs> well, he answered my prayer and brought me to Living Word. Then on Sample Road in the Strip Shopping Center, the wandering Jews were finally home with Bishop Oral and Pastor Sandra and the Living Word family. I, I know Bishop's hearing this. Uh, there he is, stand up, because I want to recognize you. This man and his church family have blessed us and allowed us to share this facility. He is a mighty man of God with a love for Israel and a love for all of God's people, including the wandering Jews. 
And in May 2015, we held our first service there, and we've been home ever since. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's clear, slide nine, that God has been with us every step of the way. He's provided for our needs. He's brought people into our community. He's blessed us with times of spiritual growth and renewal. We've seen lives transformed, hearts healed, relationships restored, all because of grace and the favor of God. People watch our services all over the world, in Europe, in South America, in, in the islands, in the Caribbean, in Norway, in Sweden. And as we reflect on the past 25 years, we cannot help but be filled with gratitude for all that God has done for us. He's brought us through difficult times, but no matter what the enemy threw at us, we went forward. During COVID, we only missed one service. For those of you who were there at the time, I had these red nine and a half by 11 uh, sheets of cardboard printed with you can sit here. And we would put them space six seats apart in the sanctuary so that we had proper social distancing during COVID. But we were open when many others were closed. We didn't shut our doors. The one week that we missed was because of a hurricane. Slide 10. In addition to recognizing God's favor and guidance, I want to share with you that Jackie and I are truly blessed to be a part of this loving community. And we know that none of it would have been possible without the guiding hand of the Most High. It's important to express our gratitude to the many who have played a vital role in the success of Beth Yeshua to Rabbi Adrian, Rebetzin, Linda, Ryan, our awesome praise leader, and his wife, uh, oh my God, Anna, who I had the pleasure of marrying some 17 years ago. What a gifted couple. And our worship team, Leah, who's not here today, and Rabbi Peter, and Helen, and Erica, and Jacob, and Rafi, and Hadassah, they are awesome. You know, praise and worship opens our hearts to God. It's worship. It's worship. And he, I, I clearly heard that he loves our worship. I don't know. I felt like a spirit of heaviness lifted from this place today. I really do. You could feel the joy. It was tangible. We were, we were in deep, deep communion with him. And that's what it's all about. That's when he can work in your life. Hallelujah. We have some awesome volunteers. We have Jared Pearsall, our, our lead deacon. We have Rabbi Peter and Rebetzin, Susan Gaines, whose love permeates everything they do. And I'd be remiss if I didn't mention my spiritual kids, Avi and Sophia Rogers, whose ministry has helped so many. The depth of our leadership is fantastic. By the way, please keep Avi in your prayers as he continues to be healed. And please keep the whole family in your prayers. I know he'll be back. Just like Arnold said, I'll be back. To Sheila and Sonny and Alicia and Vicky Pino, and Cedric and Lorenzo and Joe Fullerton and Naib and Alex Organista and Michelle Brown and Carol Blott and Stephen Solomon. And how about the, the teams that man the cameras? I mean, 
and to our security team who will remain nameless for security reasons, <laughs> and to those who set up and take down and clean up committed volunteers who've given their time and talent to support our ministries, to Alicia for the outreach to the poor with food, to each and every person who serves here, you have my love and support. In the beginning, I was a one man set up and take down because we were in somebody else's house. And to be honest with you, I resented it. And God dealt with me. You see, God was making me in his image. And after 25 years with help from God and Jackie, here I am, softer, more humble servant of the Most High. We're also grateful for the many members of the congregation who have faithfully attended services, participated in events, and contributed to the life of the synagogue in so many ways. And your dedication and commitment have helped to create a welcoming and inclusive community where all are embraced and valued. We thank you for your continued support and involvement in the life of Beth Yeshua and we look forward to many, many more years of worshiping and serving together. And as we celebrate our 25th anniversary, let's take a moment to pause and give thanks to God for his faithfulness, his provision, and most of all, his love. May we continue to seek his guidance and direction as we move forward into the future trusting in his goodness and grace to lead us on the path he has set before us. Together, as a community of believers, we can look back with pride and gratitude, and we can look forward with hope, knowing that God will continue to bless and sustain Beth Yeshua for many years to come. And I thank each and every one of you for the part you've played in making this the congregation that it is. Today is a day where we're going to celebrate. If you could see what they've done outside, it brought tears to my eyes. It's so beautiful. And there's some sparkling cider there, non-alcoholic. And we'll be able to lift the toast to celebrate the 25th anniversary. But before we can do that, we have two important things to do. Jim, come forward, please, and make the kiddush, the prayer over the wine and bread. And then Rabbi Peter, where is he? There he is. Rabbi Peter will lead us in the Uranic benediction. Remember, first timers, you get first crack out there. You can cut the line. Hallelujah. is a joyous time and we get to fellowship and be together and so in introduction to that let's uh, say a blessing Baruch Atah Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Borei Pari HaGafen Amen Blessed are you O Lord our God King of the universe, creator of the fruit of the vine. Oh, man. Yeah, Lachaim to life. Lachaim. Baruch Adonai Eloheinu Melech Alam Hamotzi Lechem Min Haaretz Amen. Blessed are you, O Lord our God, King of the universe, who brings forth bread from the earth. Amen. Amen. Rabbi, I'm coming. I'm coming. You take your time, Rabbi. We will wait on you.
But before we actually do the ironic benediction, we have a presentation. And uh, so, Robertson, Jackie, could you join us up here? You can bring the baby. You can bring her. It's all right. Yeah, I want you to know that that's not an ordinary dog. That's a service animal. She alerts when my blood sugar tanks before I conk out. But let me tell you what this little dog has taught me. She's taught me how to love unconditionally. She has. Because that's all this dog wants to do is love on people. We can learn from the animals. Let me, let me go retrieve my bride. Come, my love. Come hither. We, we, we's hither. This is just, again, a very special time for us. <clears throat> and I don't even, Rabbi, maybe you have a better beat on how long I've been here. Uh, I've lost count, but. Many, many years. Much has been learned by me from him, from them. Okay, and I just am eternally And much grateful. has been learned by me from him. <laughs> it is nothing but a marriage that was made in heaven. Amen. Amen. My lovely wife, Susan. What? Just a few quick words. Jackie, we just want to thank you for being on this journey with Rabbi David and for going to his uh, Bible study class <laughs> and, continue, and continuing the journey. And so we want to thank you, all of us. And Rabbi David... It's, it's not always the man who gets the flowers as well as the woman, but in this particular case, when the Lord made, when the Lord made this world, he created the flowers to make the world a more beautiful place. And that's why we're giving you these flowers, because... He gave the world beauty. He created the flowers so that they would multiply. And you, Rabbi David, have created beauty in this congregation. And you have allowed your teaching to help us to grow and to multiply. And we know that that is what the Lord wants, for us to multiply and to share his word. And you have done that. So, again, happy 25th anniversary. And while you're contemplating the sweet things that the Lord has done, when you have a few moments at home, you might want to dig into a few sweet little things. Oh, yes. So happy 25th anniversary. We love you. And Sophia has a word. Yeah, I have a word from the Lord for the two of you. Would you receive that from me? Yes. Hmm. I hear the Lord saying, well done, good and faithful servants, that your dedication your surrender, your commitment, the time you've invested, the sweat, the tears, the things you've suffered, the things you've endured, is a memorial offering before him and a fragrant aroma. The Lord says that you feel that you have failed and there's times where you've looked back and you said, I should have, I would have, I could have. And the Lord says that is not for you to contemplate. That the Lord measures your heart not all of your actions, not all of your deeds, but the Lord is looking at the attitude of your heart and the Lord says that is pure before him, that you are unified and holy and set apart individually and when you came together. And the Lord has says that he has made that in a synergistic way to put as a fragrant aroma before him. And he says, well done. 
And I feel the Lord wants you to know that even though there are times in your life where you have suffered so much, and especially in the physical realm, the Lord says that that strength that he's made perfect in your weakness, that you have always given him glory with a cheerful heart where many would have failed, where many would have surrendered, where many would have turned back. You did not. And the Lord says as a heavenly father, not as a father on the earth, that he looks upon the two of you with not only joy, but with gratitude for your service. So receive the admonition, the um, assurance, the pleased heart from a heavenly father that you know that your time that you have spent even thus far has been such a joy to him that has brought great glory to his name and that there will be many that will go on after you and bear the fruit and continue and the fruit that when you go before him and you see all that you have sown it will be far beyond what you could possibly imagine so the lord says enjoy the inheritance of the fruit of your labor in yeshua's name I received that. Thank you for that word. I love you all so much. And as the Lord admonished us always, when he told Moses to tell your brother, this is how we should close our assemblies. He said, Shalom. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. B'Shem Yeshua, in the name of Yeshua, Basar Shalom, the Prince of Peace. Shabbat Shalom. And some glad morning I'll take flight to the house of the rich.